Hi, welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the delete operation, which is nothing but a deleting an employee. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the edit operation, uh, which is nothing but an updating an employee. The edit operation involves the two database operations, the read operation and the update operation. Because if I want to update an employee record, first I need to read that employee record from the database, then we can update the employee record. So that is why the edit operation involves two database operations, the read operation as well as the update operation. So let's see how we can perform the edit operation step by step. So first we are going to add an update link just before this delete link. So I'll go to the Eclipse and I'll go to the least employees.jsp and I'm going to create a one more anchor tag just before the delete anchor tag and I'm gonna call this update and I'm going to separate these two links with a pipe symbol and for now I'm going to add the href as hash and I'm going to save this and in the browser I'm going to reload the web page and you will see a link update which is just before the delete link so now when the user click on this update link what we have to do is we have to read the respect to employee record from the database and we have to navigate to navigate to the add employee.jsp and we have to display the employee details or the employee data in this form so that the user later he can change the data whichever he want to update so that is the whole idea of it the user will click on this update link any one of the update link the respective record we have to read from the database and we have to navigate to the add employee.jsp and we have to display the employee data in the form so what we'll do is first we are going to get the employee id the respective employee id and then we are going to send it to the database to read the single employee record so what i'll do is i'll go to the eclipse and i'm going to copy this thing which is which we have created in the previous video for delete operation and i'm going to change it to update link update link and i'm going to change the url to edit employee you can give any name you want let me make it small letter and i'm going to uh, send the parameter as employee id and the value is nothing but the employee id everything remains same only the variable name which is update link and the value which is slash edit employee and the parameter employee id so now what we have to do is we have to get rid of this hash and i'm going to copy this el expression and i'll paste it in the href and i'll change this to update link so let's save this and now in our controller if you go to the employee controller i'm going to create a handler method public the return type is a string and i'm going to call this edit employee and i'm going to add a request mapping let's copy this and paste it and i'll change it to the edit employee which we have added in the least employees.jsp so let's copy this don't type it just copy and paste it you might have mistyped so let's copy this and paste it so within the parenthesis i'm going to accept the parameter which is an employee id so let's copy this and paste it here as well so first we just print the employee id in the console so once we get the employee id then we can perform the database operation so what I'll do is I'm going to print it in the console. Employee ID, I'm going to append the employee ID and I'm going to return the 
leastemployed.jsp for now let's redirect it to the same page then in the next video we are going to redirect it back to the add employee.jsp so once we get the employee object so let's save this and i'm going to stop the server because we made the java changes so we need to restart the server so i'm going to restart the server all right the application is started what i'll do is i'm going to expand this and i'm going to clear the console because we want to see the employee id printing in the console so i'll go to the chrome browser and i'm going to reload the web page okay so now i'll open the database and right now we have two records in the database uh, one is praveen and arjun the praveen id is one and the arjun id is two so let's uh, click on the arjun i mean like click on the update link for the arjun record and it should print the employee id 2 in the console so i'm going to click on this and it is redirecting back to the least employees.jsp as we expected and if you go to the console and it should printing the employee id which is 2 so now we are getting the employee id in the controller so now we can uh, send it to the database and we can perform the database operation which is a read operation then we will uh, get back the employee object to the controller and then we'll send it back to the least employees uh, add employee.jsp so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video